post-modernity. Modernity had fallen, beheaded by the double-edged sword that it held so high over its head for so long. Its hands went numb and heavy from the lack of circulation of the lively juices. The sword collapsed. Post-modernity is a great leap into the void, a leap to escape the demons of the past that had grown more gruesome than ever. The fear of the unexplored vast world we had once so gloriously defeated and excluded from our field of vision, an overnight jump over the Discarsian duality into the oneness that brings flesh and spirit into a single equation of love, a story that we will tell to our grandchildren. The fusion of the new world and the old world, where the noble savage meets the scholar, and both are fusing into a single being. The brick facades of old buildings, factories, mills, and other kinds stare at you with their empty windows as they are turned into new spaces for forced and consumption of commodities, endless coffee shops to stockpile the voided souls of the struggling creative generation of redundant independent minds. Hipsters, cavemen of the technocratic madness, unshaved men with heavy glasses that think that no. How long would this fat robber pig be force-fed before it bursts. How much more coffee would get spilled onto the MacBooks in those red brick walls?